Hello, so in this video I'll be going over Maxwell's third equation, commonly known as Faraday's Law. So this will be continuing my series on Maxwell's equations. So in differential form, Faraday's Law is that the curl of the electric field is equal to negative 1 over C dB dt, where B is the magnetic field, and um, in integral form, it is that the line integral of E dot dl is equal to negative 1 over C d phi b dt, so E, once again, is the electric field, dl is a small segment of length, um, and then phi is the magnetic flux through some um, area. What you'll commonly see uh, related to Faraday's law is Lenz's law, where the induced EMF in a loop is negative d phi dt. So again, phi sub b is the magnetic flux through that loop, and that epsilon is the induced EMF, which you can take to be a voltage. So just to put this in more concrete terms, if we had a magnetic field um, where that field is pointing out towards us and a sort of square of wire were traveling to the right, um, as it travels to the right and enters this field, there will be a magnetic flux through it coming out towards us. So a current will be induced um, to oppose that change in magnetic flux. So the wire will do whatever it can to um, try to cancel out the change in magnetic field, or more correctly, the changing magnetic flux through it. So that means when it's in the middle of the field and the magnetic flux through it is not changing, there won't be any induced EMF. Meanwhile, while it leaves that magnetic field segment, there will be an induced EMF in, and current in the opposite direction, um, such that the wire is trying to sort of keep the field there, um, keep it coming out towards us, the magnetic field. So I hope that that provided a little more help into Maxwell's third equation, or Faraday's law, into what it means and how you can use it. Um, if, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Thank you.